What are secrets that only managers know? A collection of thoughts. Calling all managers. What are some secrets that you only found out after becoming a manager? Something career or promotions related would be great. Our top comments. Good relationships and the direct ability to get along with others is also a critical decision-making point. You might be one of the most technical and talented directors I have but if you're an ass or don't try to get along with others I will pass you up. Main reason for this is I need a guarantee that you're able to lead others and get along with your supervisors. Most other stuff can be taught with the right attitude. You have surprisingly little power. Until you are a senior director or VP, your function is close to being a pass-through from your own manager. Your job is to translate the objectives you get from above into work to be done by your own reports. As such, there isn't too much room for creativity or accommodation. This goes for everything from project planning to career planning to compensation. The measure of a good manager is how much they can make this rigid structure not an issue for their reports. But remember the next time you are frustrated that your manager makes a decision you don't agree with, it may be because they have no choice. Storytelling is an art. Trust is everything. As a manager I want to give you more responsibility. Doing so lets me focus on other challenges, but I'll only give that to you when I'm confident that a. I won't have to spend more time cleaning up your work than if I did it myself and b. I'm confident that your outputs won't make me look bad to my manager. Good managers strategically plan how to grow your career, reposition you in the org, eliminate you, and they'll include your goals in these plans if you proactively engage with them. As has been mentioned by others, communication is everything. Moreover, different types of people have different context, skill levels, and focus. Learn to change your communication style based on your audience, be they technical, junior, senior, executive, etc. Ratings are submitted three months before they are delivered to you. Never talk shit about your manager to the higher-ups, it speaks to your character. Managers only can go to bat for one or two employees a year. Maybe one more at mid-year. We hate the overhead, compliance training, expense reports, meetings, as much as you do. I want you to be successful and hate having negative performance conversations. I don't care if you make mistakes, but you need to own them and don't make the same mistake twice. If you don't do what you say you're going to do I'll never really trust you again. I appreciate employees that make my job easier, not harder. Most days I might give 10 to 15 minutes of thought to your space, are you personally? I need to trust that you're getting it done. I was in a manager position before moving back to the IC role. I can provide some advice to navigate that environment which unfortunately is not that great of an environment to be in. 1. Always have your team's back and provide honest feedback. 2. Don't pretend to know things you don't understand especially when you have experts on the team that can smell your BS. 3. Don't make promises you can't keep, if a manager promises you a promo, he is likely pulling the words out of his ass. 4. Don't tell people they are doing a good job only to give them a mediocre performance review. 5. Get rid of toxic people or folks that just piggyback on other people's work, your colleagues will respect you when you are treating everyone based on merits. 6. Have happy hours during lunchtime on a Friday, this way you will be inclusive of folks that have a life outside of work, like parents for example. 7. Protect WLB on the team and prioritize the work ruthlessly, don't just say yes to any beggar that throws a project at you since most projects are just busy work. 8. Other managers are not your friends, unfortunately, for some reason, management positions tend to select self-centered douchebags and you'll find a lot of backstabbing folks here, treat other managers with skepticism and document important things. Over-communication is better than, I'll keep quiet and just show up with the finished project and delightfully surprise my manager. I worked at two fang companies, plus two non-fang companies, the rules are the same, if I can depend on you to deliver on time with quality, I will promote you, if not, there is a spectrum, some will be let go. Following so I can learn the manipulation tactics of Amazon managers. I don't remember what your TC is, and I only think about it once or twice a year. If your manager isn't talking about you to her or his lead, your chances of 100% rewards go way down. Ask your manager for feedback about you from their boss, if there isn't any, ask for a project that can give you visibility at skip level. If you're good enough to make me look good without threatening my job, I'll make all your dreams come true. 
if you f with me, I'll leverage the rules of that game to destroy you. Becoming a manager is not a promotion, it's a change of career. How close some people have gotten to getting fired but some random guy in the review meeting happened to speak up something positive. When you become a manager, managing perception is what amplifies delivering results. You need to be able to manage how your results are perceived. Good managers will take great wins and figure out how to make everyone in the room feel like it fits within their objectives, KPIs and therefore a win for them. Bad managers will just say, look what we did, while great managers create reality distortion fields inside and outside of their teams. Also, I really don't give a shit about what you do on the clock as long as your standard work is flawless, your business partners like you, and when I need you the most you answer my chime and take action immediately. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified about our next video.